Welcome to the BC Libraries Core Skills tutorial on Citation Management. This video will explain why it's a good idea to use a citation management tool and introduce you to the basic functions of Zotero. In order to produce academically honest work, students and scholars must cite the sources they have consulted. Citation management tools like Zotero make this easy. They save and organize references for you so you can focus on reading, thinking, and writing. Zotero can also create a correctly formatted reference or works cited list for you, no matter what citation style you're working in. Because you can sync your cloud account with your desktop app, you can access your citation data from anywhere. Zotero has connectors available for Firefox, Chrome, and Safari, and add-ins for Microsoft Word and Google Docs. It's one of the best citation management tools available, and even better, it's free and open source. To get it, just visit zotero.org and download and install both the app and a browser connector. With everything installed, you're ready to begin building a list of references. From any entry in the library catalog, Click on Zotero's browser icon to grab the citation data. You can also use Zotero with databases. As in the catalog, just click the Zotero icon. Note that the icon has changed according to the publication type. It's the same in every database or search tool. Just go to the Zotero icon in the browser and click to grab the citation data. Zotero also allows you to save reference information from websites, as long as the website is formatted according to standards. As in our catalog and the databases, click on the article you want and click the Zotero icon. In this case, it's a rolled up newspaper. It's that easy. Once you've added some references to your Zotero account, you can organize them using collections, the Zotero name for folders. To make a new collection, click the folder icon at the top of the page and name the collection. Select the references that belong together and drag them to the collection in the left column. Whenever you send a record to Zotero, you can choose the folder it goes to. There are two methods to create a bibliography. One method that you can use without a word processor add-in, or one method using a Word or Google Docs add-in. We'll cover the non-plugin method first. In Zotero, open the collection for the project you're working on and select each entry that you've used in your paper. Right-click a highlighted entry on a Mac, that's Control-click, and select Create Bibliography from Items. In the pop-up, select the citation style, choose Bibliography for output mode, and Copy to Clipboard for your output method. Open your document, place the cursor where you want the bibliography to begin, and paste the contents of the clipboard. Now you have a complete list of references correctly formatted according to the style you've chosen. With a Microsoft Word or Google Docs add-in, you can automate both in-text citations and the bibliography. When you install Zotero, it should also install a Zotero toolbar in Microsoft Word. Likewise, when you install the Zotero browser connector, it should install a Zotero menu item in Google Docs. Once you've got add-ins, you can quickly access your references directly from your Word or Google Doc. Just select the citation you want and insert it at your cursor. Each time you cite a new source, the add-in automatically updates the reference list at the end of your document. If you want support in learning how to take advantage of this tool, BC librarians are always available and happy to help either in person or online.